Greetings on this beautiful, wonderful, sunny, <laughs> gorgeous day. Uh, first and foremost, I want to say that I do not uh, subscribe or whatever word that you want to put um, to white, black, uh, colorism, whatever label that you want to label people. Um, everything is spirit. Uh, your energy, your spirit, who you are, the being, the person that you are is what it um, ultimately comes down to. So with that being said, how I would uh, lead off into the message that I just, you know, was sitting here and, and just looking at different, um, well, the different things, you know, people have to say. And then um, also from my own experience, um, I just would like to share a thought um, with others that sit around and claim, oh, uh, so-called white people, you know, have this, they're rich, they're this, you know, what, whatever way that they want to label things off of. And again, as I said, I don't subscribe to all that. It's everything is energy, your vibration, who you are, the being, the person that you are. Um, and simply put, what sets them apart from others or anyone, because it's not just so-called white. It's not, it has nothing to do with that. What it is, is really this message goes so deep but for the sake of keeping it in a video form I have to kind of keep it on surface level it's what separates the ones who so-called have and this ones who so-called don't have is doers is the ones that does is the one that are not afraid to do is the action that is taken you know um, you can only have if you do I mean, come on, if you don't do anything, how are you going to have anything? You know, rather it be uh, physical possessions, material possessions, any of that. How can you have if you don't do? If you don't take the moment to do, oh, I think, oh, that's my love in the background. He's right there, that's him. <laughs> I caught you, babe. It's energy tone, L. So, I mean, how can you have if you don't do? Like, it, it's common sense. Um, if you don't take a risk, you know, how can you have anything? So what has happened is that people have gotten it confused and think that it has something to do with color or has something to do with where you come from um, economically, um, you know, your background. It's, I, I sit in, um, for, for the current moment while I'm inside of the city um, until my travels take me away from the city. I won't no longer be located in the city anymore. Um, I observe the dynamic of it all. I observe the beautiful um, areas like the ocean, like the beach, like where I'm at now. That is actually the water back that way behind me. Um, you know, so this is like I'm on the beach area, but this is a park area and I, I sit and and not just today me and um, Energy um, Energy we are out here like every day almost Almost every day for very for reasons because we are disconnected and we're not Connected in ways that other people are so we come out here to use resources and we sit out here for hours because we're outside we're outside all the time anyway so it doesn't it makes no difference and the pe persons or people that we see all look the same you know and there is no restriction that says that um you know oh so-called again the colorism blacks aren't allowed here or whatever it's just that the people themselves choose to keep themselves se separated. That is done by choice. Nothing stops you from physically being anywhere that it is that you decide to be. Only thing that stops you or a person or whoever it is, is the mind, is your mentality. You know, so then we go to a different area, which I refer to as the hood. Um, I can call it the hood because that's where I so-called came in the physical form and dwelled in until I came of um, an age where I could physically release myself from living in that environment. So, you know, and, and, and sit and look at the ones that just sit there and just dwell in that area and they purposely keep themselves there. 
so the only thing that keeps themselves there is the mind is the mentality is the thought that they have to be there is the thought that they believe that that's where they're supposed to be at and you're free to be anywhere you want to be but nobody you know comes out to like this nice area out in the park enjoying the day enjoying the sun no they rather sit you know but my point let me let me stay on point is the only thing that separates the ones that have from the ones that don't rather you want to put color or not on it because color that's just labeling that's all a systematic way of keeping the persons labeled is the difference between the doers and the donors if donors is a word is but for this case donors is going to be a word the ones who do and the ones who don't that is it there's no there's nothing nor magical force out here that will that's making you not be out here or in any other nice area not just here this is just the physical space that i'm in right now so that's all i can talk i can speak upon but you know anywhere like we go to so many different nice spots and by nice i mean where the trees are free and it's you know the beach and just nice beautiful natural setting and it's always empty and the ones that are out there you can call them so-called white people but really the color doesn't matter those are the ones who just are doing they choose to come out there freely and be you know if you want to put it um, put this message to um, an economical uh, way of thinking and saying that certain people are rich and certain ones are not they're the ones that aren't afraid to take a risk they're the ones who are not afraid to do they're not the ones that are afraid to put their money invest into themselves or invest into whatever product market you know different different things that will bring them a return whereas there are a certain set of people that are afraid they can only think to put their money towards something, uh, some shoes, clothes, something that is a tangible item. Whereas other people aren't afraid to think long term and not afraid to put their money away for a year or two years, but know that that money is going to return to them in a, in, in a way that is going to be beneficial to them in the long run. And it just all comes down to mentality, to the way that one thinks. That is all that it comes down to. It's nothing more than mentality. And as long as you keep your mentality in the, in the one space and never expand it into anything further or never take a chance to grow or go anywhere further or do anything more, that's all that you'll ever have. It'll never go any further. It'll never, your life will never change your life will never become anything else because you're afraid to do to do whatever it is that needs to be done for that change to occur and you'll always be looking at the ones um, on the outside that have done the doers the ones that are doing and you'll always think that they have more they have you know they're able to do more and go more no you just won't do it <laughs> so you know and Man, it's just, you know, I was just sitting out here and, and that just thought just came to me and, and I mean, it's really sad because, no, it's not sad. I, I take that back. No, it's not because we all have free will and we all have the choice and the chance to make the decisions that we choose to and when we don't do it, that's you and what's your self, that's what you have to deal with. You know, we all have free will out here. This land is free. We have freedom to go and do whatever it is that we want to do. You know, it's been the illusion has been created to make you think that you don't have free and can go and do whatever it is that you want to do. But hey, again, that's self's choice to believe in that illusion that has been created. And so, again, it's not sad because we all have the free will. No one wants to listen to soul self, so therefore, you know, you stay trapped trapped in in the bondage that your mind has created for you you know it's be right nature you know power with nature .com. um this is just a quick message and really i'm signing off peace and love to you all